This is the Itel P55 5G. I believe it's the cheapest brand new 5G device you can buy. It's also one of the four devices in the P55 series. Today we'll be talking about all four devices and hopefully we can help you decide which one's for you. Let's begin. So this is the cheapest of the bunch. It starts at 93,900 Naira and goes up to 103,000 Naira. So what do you get for that price? Design wise, you get what looks like the ITEL A70, a camera section that looks like the pro iPhones, but really it's just two cameras and a flash. I do like this blue color though. It has a bit of a rainbow tint to it, depending on how you tilt the phone. It's also matte and hides fingerprint marks really well, which is dope. Also on the rear, you'd find some text designed by ITEL and then power written in all caps. Wait, so the P in P55 stands for power. I'm just realizing that. Anyway, for the specs, we get a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 90 Hertz 6.6 inch 720p hole punch display, a Unisoc T606 processor with four gigs of RAM, up to 256 gigabytes of storage, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and 18 watts of fast charging. Having a whole bunch display for under 100K is actually impressive. And then still adding a 90 Hertz refresh rate makes it even more impressive. Oh, and this phone, as well as every phone in the lineup, has the dynamic bar feature. So the display is really impressive. Performance is decent for its price, nothing spectacular. The main camera, also decent in good lighting conditions but it also can be inconsistent with its shots. Video 2 is all right. It shoots in 1080p, has no stabilization. So we basically get quality expected from a sub $100 phone. And then finally we get a huge battery and reasonable 18 watts fast charging. Something I really like is that they added that 18 watt charger in the box along with everything else you would need. All phones in the P55 lineup come with a side mounted fingerprint reader and also face unlock. That's the P55. Now let's talk about the T. The P55T is slightly more expensive than the base 55 at 101,300 Naira. With the prices being about the same, you would probably guess that these two phones share a lot of similarities and they do. Physically, they both look very similar, with the only differences being the gorgeous starry finish, the shiny rings around the cameras and flash, and thickness. The T is thicker, and I'll tell you why in a bit. Internally, the only major differences are with battery and software. This has a bigger 6000 mAh cell, and I think that's why it's thicker. And then for software, this comes with Android 14, Go Edition. Surprisingly, the T is the only phone in the lineup that comes with Android 14. Every other phone comes with Android 13. Everything else is the same. We have the same 6.6 inch, 720p, 90 hz hole punch display. Also the same processor, the T606 with four gigs of RAM. This also has the same 50 megapixel main camera, just like with the P55. So everything I said about that camera applies to this camera. And although this has now a bigger battery, the charging speed is still the same, 18 watts. So in summary, the P55T is basically the P55, but with a bigger battery and Android 14. Now let's talk about the plus. This was another phone in the lineup that people liked. It costs 120,000 Naira and features a different camera layout. ITEL went with two camera rings with the flash separated in a cylindrical housing. I got the black variant and that comes with gold rings around the cameras and a starry finish kind of similar to the P55T. But I think I would have preferred the green variant because of the leather-like finish. The rear of the black is matte, but the sides are glossy. I'm not a fan of glossy. It shows fingerprints a lot and is very slippery. See? The P55 Plus has the same display as the other two in the lineup, a 6.6 .6 inch 720p 
90Hz hole punch display. This also comes with the same T606 processor of the P55 and P55T, but this time around it comes with 8GB of hardware RAM, so you can expect a better multitasking experience with the Plus. In addition to that, you can also use part of the 128GB of storage as virtual RAM, up to 8GB, making it 16GB of RAM. Now, although these numbers sound like a lot, we want to still remember that this uses a budget chipset, so we shouldn't be expecting flagship performance. The main camera on here is also 50 megapixels. I believe they use the same exact sensor on all four devices in the series. And like I already said, the cameras are fine, especially when you give it good lighting. Also, didn't mention this, but all phones in the lineup use the same front-facing camera, an 8 megapixel sensor. Although this has the same 5000 mAh battery of the P55, this has significantly faster charging at 45 watts. I don't think any other phone for around that price gives you that. Also, they did include the 45 watt charger in the box, which is nice. So that's the P55 Plus. It's just like the P55, but with a different design, faster charging, and eight gigabytes of RAM. All the phones we've talked about so far are all 4G smartphones, but the next one on the lineup isn't. Like I said in the intro, this is the cheapest brand new 5G smartphone you can buy. The P55 5G costs 138,200 Naira, or about $120. When you're making a budget smartphone, you have to cut some corners to keep it affordable. With the P55 5G, the most noticeable cut corner is with the notch on the front of the phone. <laughs> To be fair, the A14 5G, which costs over 200,000 Naira, comes with a teardrop notch just like this. So maybe it's not that bad. The Dimensity 6080 is the processor in the P55 5G. It's a 6 nanometer 8 core processor released in June of 2023. This chipset makes this phone easily the most powerful ITIL phone yet. It is paired with 6GB of RAM and up to 6GB of virtual RAM. Opening apps would be faster. Multitasking would also be smoother. You would also be able to retain more apps in the background. And then even with gaming, games that haven't been able to run on some previous ITIL devices would run on this. I was able to install Asphalt 9 and FIFA Mobile, two of my favorite games. And they both ran well. I experienced some frame drops when I played Asphalt on the default settings, but besides that, it was fine. So I'll say that this would give you the best experience when it comes to performance and gaming in the P55 lineup. And if you're looking for a gaming phone on a budget, this is definitely a phone to consider. With that said, you wouldn't be able to play high graphic games at the best of settings, because this is still a budget phone, but you would be able to play at medium settings without facing any issues. Everything else about this phone is the same as the P55. Same good display, but now with a teardrop notch. Same 50 megapixel camera, but actually I believe because of the chipset, the 5G variant uses a different image processor. So I think the images should even look better. And then for battery, it comes with a 5,000 milliampere cell and supports 18 watts of fast charging. So that's the P55 5G, the best performer in the lineup. And it's also a 5G device. So that's the entire P55 lineup. Each phone has one or two features that the others don't. So they're all good in their own way. But which of these phones would you pick? Let me know in the comments. But that's been it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you when you see me.